Hi, family. <clears throat> it's the Mobile Home Diva. <clears throat> and in today's video, I just wanted to talk to you about this virus that's going on. I just literally just walked in the door <clears throat> from going to run a few errands. My friend Margaret had surgery this morning. And even though I didn't want to disturb her by going to visit, I took some flowers. And while I was out, I stopped at the grocery store. And I literally just walked in the door like real talk. Like they're go they're my groceries right there. Okay? But I feel so crazy after being out there running my errands <clears throat> and thinking about the coronavirus and the flu and this being a pandemic um, thing and then having some real things going on with me. And I know you, I'm probably talking crazy and you have no idea what I'm saying, what I'm saying. Everybody's coughing and hacking and sneezing everywhere, everywhere you go. And when you go out to the stores, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice, but my voice feels, my throat feels scratchy, my lips are burning. My nose is running. I keep clearing my throat. I just feel the need to come home. Of course, wash my hands because we should keep our hands washed. But wash my face and just feel better about myself. Like, just in a, a little, the 30 minutes I've been gone, I feel so. I feel so weird and what I feel is not in my head. What I feel is I'm not crazy. It's amazing to me just how different even the atmosphere is, y'all. Like... This coronavirus is real. Last night, let me say this. I'm a real YouTuber. If you've heard, been on my channel before, you've heard me say it before. I am a real YouTuber. I don't watch TV. I watch YouTube. I have followed. There are some people that I followed that I followed before I became a YouTuber. And I still follow them to this day and on Tuesdays and Thursdays my favorite YouTube couple Dustin and Veronica from DMV La La Land I'm going to probably put them in the iCard and link them in the description box because I want you to go over to their channel and show them some love they take the most amazing trips they don't trip they don't take trips often but when they take a trip, they are the ones to watch. However, they are frequent vloggers. Now, they used to vlog every single day, and life happened. Dustin especially went through some things, and he, gave, he took a YouTube break. They took a YouTube break, but they're back now, and they post every Tuesday and Thursday. And the post last night, which was Tuesday, was about the coronavirus and how real it is. And I'm going to link the video here because I want you to go and listen to how Veronica vividly described what happens in, in um, a particular scenario. Say you're going to the store. Her scenario was about... Um, Carrier A, who was at the store, and it was just really vivid. I'm not going to try to to relive it. I want you to go check it out. And it really made me think, and it really made me look at how I moved differently in the store. Of course, 
I wiped down the cart, but I found myself at a grocery store that doesn't have those wipes. So I had to take my sleeve and wipe down the part that my hand and everything that I touched, I, I wondered if how many other people had picked this bell pepper up or examined this pack of meat. And by the time I left the store, look, my nose is running. So I know it's real. It's not just in my head. My nose is running. You know, if you look, listen to the news, this is a, a disease that can lay dormant in your body for 14 days. So you have thought you, you, you thought you were fine for 14 days before you realized that there was an issue. You've gone to the grocery store, you've gone to your worship service, you've gone to the movies, you've been in a restaurant, you've stopped and gotten coffee from McDonald's, you've been in a lot of places, and every single person that you've come in contact has done all of the things that you've done. So thousands, millions of people have been affected and you were the sole reason if you had not been at McDonald's, then the 10 other people that were in there wouldn't have went to 30 other places through the course of 10 weeks and infected 10,000 other people. It's, it's just crazy, but you have to hear the way Veronica describes it. Um, it just made it real. And it had me thinking like, are we doing enough to protect ourselves? We have to wash our hands frequently. We have to keep hand sanitizer. I found myself out and about with no sanitizer wipes. This is on the cat counter on my island. I left without this pack of Clorox disinfectant wipes. I left without, well, my husband moved the hand sanitizer that was in the car. My lips feel tingly. My throat is scratchy. <clears throat> Any one of us could have this. I got the flu last month, if you guys remember. I never get sick, okay? I got the flu last month. I'm talking about never get sick. I may have the common cold from time to time, but I never just really get sick. And I had the flu. My husband had the flu a few years ago. I didn't even catch it. I had it this time. Like, <clears throat> we have really got to protect ourselves. We have to continue watching the news. I'm watching the news throughout the day. Sorry, my face is really dry from washing it. It tightens that um, cleaner, that cleanser tightens my all my pores and I have to put moisture back in it um I got the flu a couple weeks ago now I'm scared if you got the flu are you more susceptible to coronavirus or have your has your body built up a better immune system it's something to think about like we just don't know you guys and I came home in a panic and I just needed somebody to talk to. So that was the purpose of this. I don't have any facts about coronavirus. Of course, I've been watching it just like everybody else, but I'm not a professional. So I'm not going to discuss any facts. I'm only going to tell you that I'm afraid just like everybody else is afraid. If you're not afraid, you should be. The last pandemic that we had that even matched what we're going through now was the Spanish flu. I will talk about a little bit about that. It was in 1918. It affected 40 million people. It affected 40 million people there and their families. So many people lost their lives. Millions, 40 million people lost their lives to Spanish flu. So this that we're going through, this is real, right? And we should be afraid and we should be cautious. And I know it seems like I'm panicking. I am, 
I am very much afraid, but I just wanted to remind my family members that we have to protect ourselves, that this virus is real. And every day, more and more people around us in the United States are, are catching it. A week ago, nobody in Georgia had it. Then one family, one guy and his son got it. Now, um, what did I hear today? A student at an elementary school in Cobb County, which is the county I used to live in, has it. A Fulton County employee was tested positive for, for coronavirus. Now a second Fulton County employee tested positive. They were at that school for God knows how long before they even started having symptoms. Imagine how many students got it and took it home to their parents. A Waffle House employee in Georgia tested positive. Like, I'm watching the news. I was supposed to go to Texas end of this month, and I decided not to go. I canceled my flight. I had three tickets that cost over $600. I couldn't even get my money back from those tickets. I had to settle for a travel refund. Who knows when I'll be able to travel again due to this virus. I only have a year to use it. I canceled my rental car. I rented a Tahoe um, and two hotel rooms. I had to cancel all of those things. The only money I really lost was the, the, the travel, the, uh, airline tickets. And I didn't really lose them. I just have to, I didn't get the money back. I have to fly another time. I canceled it because of how the virus is growing in the United States. And I'm glad I did because there are more cases in Texas in that area now than in Georgia, and it's growing. One family of five got tested and three of the members was positive in that area. So it's nothing to play with, you guys. And I know I don't have it. The caption says, do I have it? I came home really wondering. I pray I don't have it, but I don't know. I know when I left here, my throat wasn't scratchy and you couldn't hear it in my voice and now you can. So one of the things that um, I've heard is to drink plenty of water, keep your throat and your insides um, wet, um, and it flushes out your system. So we're going to continue to drink water. We're going to keep drinking water, and we're going to um, stay home and away from others as much as possible. And we're going to keep praying. I will say this. Luke 21, 11 talks about how times will be in the last days. And one of the things it says that we'll experience, it says we'll experience one earthquake after another. Uh, people won't have food. Uh, but it also says pestilence. We'll experience pestilence. And if you're looking at the thesaurus, pestilence, one of the things that it names is a uh, pandemic. Pandemics are considered pestilence. So these things must happen in order for the end of this system as we know it, the end of this world as we know it, the last days is what I'm talking about. So I, you know, I'm not overly concerned, but I am concerned, right? Um, I want to live as long as I can until I can anymore. And then I want to live forever in God's new world. So I don't know. I'm just going to continue to pray about it. I'm going to continue to pray for each one of you. I'm going to continue to pray that we all um, keep pushing, keep enduring through whatever happens in this system. Um, and I just wanted to share with you guys, I guess the point of this whole conversation is be careful, um, take care of yourselves, and stay on top of what's going on around you. Continue watching the news and um, observing how to keep yourself safe. Wash your hands frequently. Um, 
Try not to be in big crowds as much as possible. Just do what you have to do to stay safe, you guys. I love you all. Thank you for allowing me to have somebody to talk to. Thank you for allowing me to talk myself down and, and get calm again. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.